What's up, everybody? My name is Jason, and welcome to Small Biz. In today's video, we're going to talk about how the S&P finally stuck its head above 5,000 for the very first time, setting up what could be a major rug pull in the next 7 to 10 days. And the obvious question of this day is, if we've got three penny stocks in fuego as I speak, why in the world are there absolutely no rats allowed? All that. And more coming at it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, TGIF, once again, not supposed to be here, but duty calls. We've got some stocks that are on fire. We got a situation that I need to address that came up about an hour or so ago. And yeah, I see it at 15 cents. Hmm. Hmm. Jeez. Right. What's going on, huh? Right? Two, three days ago, quiet as a fucking morgue, head in the sand, hiding in the desk, doing everything but looking at your fucking Quotron, right? And then all of a sudden, <clears throat> if you're new, welcome. We don't fucking edit around here. I swear like a drunken sailor, and I've been in the business 30 years, half of it as a broker from 93 to 2007. In other words, I know what the fuck I'm doing. And I can tell you this right out of the gate before I briefly address the record high, talk about some stocks that are on fire and why we don't have, or shouldn't, I should say, day traders, scalpers, or motherfucking rats inside of our Discord. <clears throat> Bear with me. I've had some coughing fits today. As you know, I'm getting over the flu I don't want to have one on air because it'll go on for several minutes. So I'm going to try not to get too excited. <clears throat> if you're buying a stock and it feels comfortable, easy, a no-brainer, chances are you're making a mistake. On the other hand, fellas, when your nuts are the size of a grain of sand, Ladies, when you're leaking in places that you didn't even know you had. When you're questioning the very existence of life itself, you're wondering what the hell's going on here. Am I about to make a mistake? It's probably time to start opening a half a position or adding small. Or if you've got a full position, grab your fucking nuts and ladies, whatever you got to do in order to hang strong. Because we have seen People quit in the last few days of our Discord, and they literally gave away three stocks. If you're looking at your screen right now with five of seven up on the day, they gave them away. Threw in the towel. I can't take it. You don't know what you're doing. I've only been breaking even. Really? How long you been here? Two weeks? And you're complaining about breaking even? Well, you're not fucking breaking even today, are you, asshole? <clears throat> 152 on the end stock and going higher. And by the way, I shared something in the Discord about mm, 90 minutes ago regarding that stock. Suffice it to say that if you don't hear from me, I'm probably doing something. I'm adjusting the website. I'm promoting a small business owner. I'm responding to 50 emails and phone calls a day, or I'm grilling the fuck out of somebody in investor relations or even higher. And how many times have we seen when I shared a snippet of what I think is safe within an hour, within a day, within a week, something happens. Isn't that amazing? You know why? I get on the phone and I start roasting them by email to start with. And they eventually figure out, okay, this is the real deal. This guy knows what he's doing. I want to know where's the supply? How come the insiders aren't buying? Where the fuck are your sell side analysts? Where are the brokers that brought you public? How come they're not buying the stock? What's the revenue? EBITDA on about 15 other motherfucking things that I may have on my mind. In other words, I'm in your corner. I'm your activist. I'm your pit bull. I'm your bulldog. You can call me whatever you want to call me. I just want to know what the hell is going on 
And as long as I've got the green and yellow, if the price action is weak on the stock, you continue to buy. If you're new, you don't fucking ask questions. You open a half a position just like the welcome video states, and you keep adding small until I say fucking otherwise. And if you don't like that or you can't take direction from someone who's been in the weeds for three decades, then you need to get the fuck off the server by way of trysmallbiz.com because it's not for you. I want everybody to try to imagine, if you will, what I'm trying to accomplish each and every day. It's herding cats, but it's bigger than that. We're basically a hedge fund. We have almost 400 uh, members in the Discord. We're about 76% sold out. If you want to become a member, no day trading allowed, no scalping allowed, no fucking rats that are going to snitch or take a fucking photo of something that I say or do and send it to the feds. And then they're fucking calling me. It didn't go anywhere. But that's why I have to be very careful about what I'm doing inside of what is our makeshift hedge fund. You enter your own trades. You get your own broker. I send you the notifications to your phone in real time as to what I'm doing and what I obviously recommend. You do the same. 80% of your money should be married to the market and index funds or ETFs. And you roll your dice with the other 20 or 30% depending on your risk tolerance. The money that you have inside of the core holdings, that's your fuck around and find out money. That's your Vegas money. But this is a guy who's been right more than 90% of the time for 15 months, about 85% of the time for the last two years that I've been sharing all of my trades publicly on Twitter and now inside of the Discord. So if you got a small business and you can coexist and take direction from somebody like me and you can wait about a month to make about 30% per trade on a winning side, go to trysmallbiz.com. Premium if you got a small biz, Discord if you don't. So everyone who's qualified and can follow the rules I just laid out, go knock yourself out before we're sold out. But we've got a mini hedge fund. We currently have, as I just said, about 17% of the stock inside of our Discord, 5 million shares on a 30 million outstanding. We have a chance in that case to influence the outcome with the fucking scams that we no longer talk about, one of them being an EV player that's got hundreds of millions or even billions of shares. We have no impact, no influence whatsoever. But when we can corner the market, particularly on the cheap stock, all the way down to a dime in the last week or two, and we can stay unified as a group, in other words, you're part of a hedge fund and you're actually not allowed to sell in that case in, in, until 30 days after submitting a written request. Now, that's not what we're doing, but I'm asking for some level of allegiance, some level of empathy for your fellow man and women. We rise and we fall together. We get kicked in the nuts and the ladies get their hair fucking pulled together. So if we've got $7 million on the line, a million approximately in seven core holdings, no more than that, if you want to go up to 10, you uh, go ahead and knock yourself out. I gave everybody, here's a tip for your freeloaders, open a half a position in Snap. It got blasted on the earnings, 11, between 10 and 11 start to accumulate the stock. It was there again this morning. But we have to go in with a half a, a million bucks each time. That's our open a half a position. And then we add small, right? Another 100,000 as a group until we've got a full position. And then we eventually sit there and we wait about a month. Some take longer. Some happen in a matter of a few days. But I am constantly thinking about the bigger picture. The fact that we have a family, a herd of cats that we have to get in and out together. So if you're a self-centered motherfucker and we still have some in there as far as I know, this is not for you. You're creating a problem because every time we have a stock that goes up and then it comes down, I'm not talking about something that's got hundreds of millions of shares, but where we, we, we've got 17% or thereabouts of the float, I guarantee that's probably someone in our Discord that got trigger finger or even worse, doesn't give a flying fuck about you or me. And we are only as strong as our weakest link. We have to move in and move out together. So I'm always thinking, okay, can we get in a half a million bucks? And once we get to 500 strong, which is the limit, 
It's going to, can we get in with a million bucks here? Is it liquid enough? Is it pulled back enough? Are we going to rock the boat if we make a move right now, both on the entry and the exit? That's what I am constantly obsessing over. And I have mastered the fucking art of doing so. So when I have someone that basically comes to the doctor of finance or the doctor of penny stocks and does not take my advice and even sticks his fucking finger in my and ultimately your eye, that really rubs me the wrong fucking way. So in closing, I would ask you to please leave the discord. I don't need your money. What I need is your cooperation, your understanding that we're building a monster. We're going to have 500 people on the same page, moving $2 million in and out of a stock each time. We have to be in unison. And I will not uh, tell you to uh, stay the course or buy more of the fucking stock as low as nine cents the other day when the clowns at Stock Twits told you the end of the world was upon us. If you recall a couple of months ago on a stock that was $18, now $680, I told you we were fucked and it was time to get out. If in the future I think we're fucked on one stock that we may own, I'll say, you know what? We're fucked. We need to get out of this stock. I don't see any near-term catalyst to push this much higher. We'll take our loss, whether it's 20% or 50%. It won't matter. Why? Because we're right 90% of the time or thereabouts, and that is never motherfucking going to change. So until next time, always remember that I love you guys and gals. Thanks for watching. I got to tell you, this would have been one hell of a white jean motherfucking night. So for all of you that are going to be partying tonight, make sure to have one on me.